The Internet, a complex series of networks linked together to provide a wide range of information, both provided by a number of high-powered media groups, but more importantly, the user. take a look at the state of the offline world today. In 2005, Canadian newspapers were receiving two-thirds of their revenue through advertising, and in the U.S., over three-quarters. That being said, newspapers have become a modern-day billboard, where significant news stories are subordinate to corporate agendas. In this case, wouldn't it be more profitable for the industry to meet market and corporate demands rather than that of ethical journalism? The media industry has become a corporation in itself that now sells audiences and eyeballs to other corporations. When there is this much money involved, there is certainly a bigger political, social and economic agenda behind that money. In that same industry, television has gone through a similar change. Ratings no longer reflect the popularity and success of a given program. Everybody, I got bad news. We've been cancelled. Oh, no. Peter, how could they do that? Well, unfortunately, Lois, there's just no more room on the schedule. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action, That 80s Show, Wonder Falls, Fast Lane, Andy Cedric the, Cedric the Entertainer, The Tick, Louie, and Greg the Bunny. Is there no hope? Well, I suppose if all those shows go down the tubes, we might have a shot. <laughs> For example, Family Guy was a program that debuted on Fox and was subsequently cancelled once in 2000 and again in 2002 after poor ratings. The show was quickly replaced, but in 2005, Fox re-signed the show for another season after the DVD sales of that show had reached record numbers. This shows again how the industry has marginalized public needs and how it starts to cut corners for bigger profits. Often enough, we see an enormous amount of people skipping traditional modes of obtaining information by seeking a medium where the discourse and dialogue happening within it is direct and influence-free, or at least some of it. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough roads to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Because of the inherent limitations of television, people turn to another mass media for information, the gateway to knowledge, the internet. For example, in 2004, an infamous wardrobe malfunction at Super Bowl 38 during the halftime show provoked a serious response from the FCC, which is the United States Federal Communications Commission. They're responsible for ensuring a certain quality of television programming and henceforth had set up a tape delay of 10 minutes for a few more live events such as the Academy Awards to ensure a scandal-free broadcast. However, even now without the tape delay, certain networks enforce their control over content shown in a live broadcast. For example, Sally Field expressed her anti-war views during her acceptance speech during the 2007 Primetime Emmys. Others who stand with an open heart and wait, wait for their children to come home from danger, from harm's way, and from war. Hurry up! Wyatt! I have to finish talking! I, to those of you, and, and, and to war, they, that, oh God, I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, and, uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and, 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 and to war. I, I am proud, I am proud to be one of those women. And let's face it, if the mothers ruled the world, there would be no... However mild the cutaway, Fox still chose to cut the speech short. 